hello guys and gals welcome to my channel um, this is my first video on a tutorial with UE5 and Lyra I'm gonna start off with um, just showing the very basic uh, technique on trying to get your metahuman um, loaded into the Lyra project in UE5 and we're gonna probably get into randomizing the characters afterwards so let's just get starting so the first thing you want to do is go to your marketplace download your Lyra project um, what you do is you just do a search type Lyra or Lyra or whatever I call it Lyra start a game and just create project so We'll do that now. For this tutorial, I'm going to call it Lyra Meta Human. That's fine. T uh, tutorial. Create the project. And as that's happening, I'll pause the video and we'll get back to it once it's done. All right, I think we're done downloading. All right, and here we are. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Quixel bridge, which is automatically added to your UE5. Uh, open that up. And of course, if you don't have uh, an account in Epic Games, which I'm sure you have by this point, all you got to do is log in, and I'm already logged in. Um, go to your Meta Humans, and as you can see, you just browse through any Meta Human. Um, we'll do a different video, if anything, about creating your Meta Humans. Let me update the project file. There we go. Uh, but I already have some metal humans I've been messing with here already downloaded um, So yeah, make sure you, you either pick a default or edit your meta human and download it to your Epic account and what I'm gonna use for the purpose of this tutorial is Omar Mohawk Let's go with Omar Mohawk and then just click this little arrow here to Add him to your UE project now, as this process happens, uh, definitely what's going to happen is um, there's going to be a request for, yeah, here we go, for a bunch of plugins to be enabled. And you're going to have to restart your engine after enabling all of these guys. There you go. Restart required. Restart now. Okay, and we're back. So now you go to your content browser here and you should see a meta human folder created over here. And here we have, we have Omar Mohawk. What you want to do is open him up and we're going to have to wait a little bit for the shaders to compile. Most likely the first time you have them up, go to your viewport over here and there you go. You see Omar. Now, one thing you notice about Omar is that when you're looking far away, he's missing the hair. And if you get close to him, you see the hair, right? So, in order to fix that is you have to change the LEDs. Just click on um, the body, if I'm not mistaken. No, I'm sorry. Gotta go over here to LOD sync. So now you gotta change here force LODs. Change this to one. And there you go. Now no matter what, no matter how far you are, uh, his hair shows up. Alright? First thing you gotta do there. Now compile and save. And what I'm gonna do is add him over here. So now, next thing you want to do is look for 
go to body and look for the skeletal mesh where's the skeletal mesh right here skeletal mesh click this little button here to browse and right click on that go to create okay, hit atom blueprint we're going to create an animation blueprint for the skeletal mesh and and we okay um confuses the animation blueprint okay all right that's the default one all right yeah normally you would ask me to rename but whatever we we'll have to rename this and we're gonna call it a b p for animation blueprint and call him omar mo hawk just make sure like there's no space or anything with that because unreal engine doesn't like that so and here we are we created our animation blueprint for the body open that up all right so and what you want to do here now is drag over here type retarget pose from mesh all right and as you have this selected go to here to ik retarget retargeter asset and what you want to pick is over here rtg mannequin what this does is uh retargets um the ik um retargeter for our lyra um rig uh ik so here we go and we hit compile and save and as you see it's working so one thing i've done this many times and a lot of people that i've noticed that they have start testing this out before i jump into how to replace the 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 mesh is make sure you go to uh where is he right here don't forget this part because everybody forgets this uh right here in the body anim to play it says none animation mode change it to animation blueprint and select the one that we just made which is animation blueprint uh what is it omar mohawk okay make sure you got got that going compile save and now for the fun part how do we get this guy to replace our you know default lyra mannequins so what i do is go to content browser over here and um see i'm trying to remember now you we got to go oh yeah we go to characters cosmetics b pick random character click on that and what this does is as the game loads um it checks if you get loaded as manny you become quinn and if you're quinn you become manny and by the way i haven't seen anybody mention but i don't know if you noticed that manny and quinn is mannequin haha uh -huh. anyways <laughs> this is sorry all right so very simple thing we're going to do real quick i want to make this video short but i want to show you and now what you got to do is just select the class for um omar and hmm trying to remember okay right there it says it right over here bp omar mohawk so i just pick that class omar mohawk and what this is going to do is now it's going to replace our manny quinn into our game pal save 
I just, uh, I don't know. I, everyone, anyone that's looking at this video, you know what gets loaded up. So I'm not going to do that right now. So I want to make this video very short. So just hit play. Uh, I could, th let me just go straight to game mode. There we have it. We have Omar Morhawk replacing the mannequin. You know, it's interesting that I don't know if they changed anything, but the weapon is pretty on point. But you know, it's like, hey, oh yeah, and look at that. Look at look at that fro going on over there. It's a little buggy thing that sometimes they load up like that, like the hair, um, I don't know, I guess the, the, the hair component or whatever is, sometimes, I, it doesn't happen to you as a player, but it happens to the bots. But anyways, so now, this is cool, so you get your, yeah, he still has got the pro, he's got the pro there. So anyways, um... <laughs> All right. Anyway, so so now for an extra bonus. Now this is very tricky, and it's but whatever. It's just to add a little, add a little, uh, <clears throat> little extra spice to it. Uh, if you notice, everybody loads up as as Omar, right? So real quick to end this video, what I'm gonna show you is how to randomize uh, the bots. Because er, now everybody's loading up as your meta human. So what I want to do is um, what I'm gonna do is uh, let me see if I could do this quicker like this uh, promote variable and just make sure you make a variable of type actor class okay and just name it. Um, just gonna call it for right now for this tutorial. Just call them actors, like that. Okay. And then what I do is hit hold Alt and click on that and turn this into an array. Okay. Turn it into an array. Let's go break connection. Ta -da -da, change variable. I know this is an experimental way. I I just did this on the fly right now, but it's okay. This is fine. It's just because you place that variable and it's like, are you sure you're going to change everything or whatever? Blah, 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 actors. I don't know. Let's see. I hope I didn't break anything, but I'm pretty sure I did it. All right. So we have a, an array uh, variable of type actor class. And it says, please compile the blueprint. So you have to do this. So you can have these options coming up when you compile. Okay, now you have this over here, array elements. So right now in the project, by default, we only have one extra character we added, which is Omar Mohawk. And, but we have Manny and Quinn, right? So we go Omar, Manny, and Quinn, right? So we'll just go Omar. Just type Omar. There you go. Omar. Manny. Huh? Okay, hold up. What's oh over here. Uh Manny. Um B Manny. There you go. There he is. B Manny. And then we go B whoop, B Quinn. That's Manny and Quinn. Manny Quinn. Manny mannequin okay whatever uh so then what i do here which is this weird um it's still a little experimental i don't know how this actually works this way but okay this random bull just actually just ask if you spawn i think i already said that um what we want to do is say random 
random array item right it's gonna iterate through your array over here and you have to ask and this is weird I don't understand why the logic works this way but it doesn't matter it's gonna serve its purpose so you want to get um, player controller not cast uh, okay hold up sorry get sorry damn it. get player controller <coughs> I don't want to say is local controller and and boolean is locally wait wait I'm saying it's it's local player controller okay um yeah okay okay we'll, we'll go with that but I'm still confused about this logic why it works this way but I have to look at my previous stuff but I think this works uh, then do a branch what I do by the way real quick hint I go like this and type if and automatically there's a branch or just type branch and what this is is just an if condition and um, it's a boolean condition but what I do is just um, hold B and left click boom branch right there alright so we tie this boolean Note in there, tie it over here, and here's the real funky part about this. I'm not going to question, I want to make this video short. So, here we duplicate this control D. Okay, we go if it's true, goes here. Don't ask me why this works this way, but and then we tie this class to the New part select the class, and if it's false, you'll get oh, right here. You have to pick a class. All right, this is a sign. We haven't assigned this yet. Um, okay, whatever. So we look for uh, Omar, Omar Mohawk. Bam. All right, compile save now let's give it a test and let's see what happens uh, this should help randomize all the players including yourself and I'll give a future video um, on how to customize this so you could always be your character and everyone else randomizes and I'll be in a future video so let's go compile save again okay and then hit play all right Let's just go straight to the to the action. Uh, go to the front end or elimination right here. No, it, it it's just randomizing. Oh, look at that! Omar first. Let's see if it's, if it's actually work and everybody else is randomized. Oh yeah, there you go. You see, you got Manny over there. You got Omar there. Oh yeah. And let's see, there's a CMI team. CMI team. Man, these bots, these bots are actually pretty hard. Uh, go get a, a heal. Oh, my teammate is Omar as well. All right, because we only have three characters, you know, so it's randomizing. Yep, okay. Let's 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 put it to the test and then I'll end this video. Let's go play again. Let's go back to elimination. Let's see if we got a different player. Yeah, you see? I'm Manny and there's Omar. Let's see if we have Quinn in the game. Yeah, and like I said, like it's funny, like 
that stuff that's happening over there with the <laughs> it's like Omar's got a fro with lights on it. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, these bots, man. Anyway, so there you go. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And please uh, like and subscribe. And any comments you have, I hope you have anything to add. But, like, please... Um, um, make sure you have the notification thing going on too because I'm planning on expanding this in the future um, have plenty of stuff to offer where we could get um, character selection um, replications going on uh, for multiplayer and uh, yeah um, please keep it locked and uh, hope to see you soon take care